In this video, we'll be taking a look at one of the most inexpensive SR lenses you can buy, the Minolta MD 50mm f2. As we've seen from earlier reviews and comparisons, price doesn't always match performance. Let's see if that's true for this lens. It's amazing to think that I bought this lens for only $26 online. Minolta used to make some of the best lenses back in the day, and this one is no different. Even if you'd prefer buying and working with a faster prime, I'd highly recommend you buy this one and give it a try. It's a killer deal to say the least. The MD 50mm f2 is compact and very lightweight lighter than most lenses I've tried so far. Even though it's built mostly from plastic, the build construction rivals even some of the best Minolta lenses. Dampening on the follow focus ring is like many other Minolta lenses, which is silky smooth, has a long throw, and hard stops on either end. The aperture ring has clicks at every stop and there's even a locking mechanism to trap the iris at f22, although I'm not sure why this is an important feature. This lens comes with six aperture blades, which is standard for most Minolta lenses. You may notice some hexagonal patterns in the bokeh of an image, or flaring when light enters into the lens. In this review, we'll be using the Fatassi Minolta MD to Micro Four Thirds adapter, which can be found online for about $13. This lens can be easily attached and removed from this adapter, and most, if not all, Minolta MD adapters work with any Minolta lens with MD, MC, Rokor, or Celtic in their names. This lens is incredibly sharp across the entire frame. Even in the corners, there is incredible detail. Many other lenses need to be stopped down to f5.6 and beyond to see the same sharp performance that this lens offers across the spectrum. Like many other Minolta lenses, vignetting is noticeable at wider apertures, and this issue doesn't correct itself until you reach f4 and above. I'd argue though that this lens depicts the least amount of vignetting I've seen among other Minolta lenses. Overall, the price to performance ratio on this lens is off the charts. You can buy one of your own for the same price as a steak dinner. It probably won't be your main 50mm lens to work with, but it's great to take with you on long trips because it's very compact, lightweight, and affordable. If it breaks or you lose it, then you can always pick up another one. Click on the links provided to learn more about other lenses, and feel free to subscribe and visit filmformat.com for more filmmaking reviews and tutorials from yours truly. Thanks for watching.